We're going to look at the uh, the panther mill side by side with your typical Chinese Chilaskan type mill. This is uh, hopefully should be obvious. Is the panther mill and this is the uh, Chinese type version. So starting with the nose guard with the panther mill, you look, you've got a stainless steel fitting. Everything is folded. With the Chilaskan, it's basically a curved piece of uh, flat metal that's galvanised. So that's one of the first differences. When you look at the clamp, how does this actually fit and what are the fittings like? This is toolless and you've got a nice handle, you've got the um, anodized gold block there and it's toolless so you can adjust the height of the panther mill toollessly. With the Chilaskan, you've, you've got a fairly simple block there and a U-bolt and then you adjust these two fittings here to raise and lower it. But bear in mind, to raise the height of uh, the Chinese type mill, you've got to adjust two there at that end and two at the far end as well. It's quite a fiddly job adjusting the height. And then once you've changed the height, hold it in position and do it back up. One handle here, one handle on the far side here. Rotate this to uh, change the height and then just toollessly just twist that back again. So it takes you about 20 seconds on the Panther. It'll take you, you know, 90 seconds, couple of minutes on the uh, Chinese mill. So when you look at the Panther mill, you've got a nice gold block, two stainless bolts that fit that to the channel. You look at these end brackets, these are made from aluminium channel, pretty much unbreakable. We haven't ever had one break before. Uh, on the Chinese mill, you've got like a cast bracket here and these do break from time to time. It does the job, I mean it functions, but you can see it's completely different to having a proper aluminium channel bracket there. And the block that fits into that, two stainless fittings there, is replaced here by this part's been um, threaded and then it's a wing bolt on top of that that then fixes the tube in place. So if you look at that there. Coming on to the other fittings of the Chinese mill, you'll find that they will all be different size bolts. They do give you a spanner here. On here it's 11, and on here it's 13. Um, they tend to be plated rather than stainless steel. All the fittings on the Panther mill pretty much are, some of them are plated, but mainly all the nuts and bolts are stainless. Look at the handle here. Again, it's a sort of bent bit of metal with a fairly simple grip. With the Panther mill, you've got a nice offset handle, which makes it far more ergonomic to push with. Made of much thicker material, and you've got a much nicer grip there as well. And you also get the two additional grips here on the round tube. So with the Panther mill, you automatically get the, the magnets there, and that's to fit these little, this little Allen key there, which you often use to, or if you do need to adjust this, so something you can easily lose. It does rattle around on the magnets of your milling, but it doesn't ever tend to come off. You've got another Allen key there, you need to adjust those blocks. So that sort of goes there. That goes in there to adjust those. And then you can keep them close to hand. And then you get a 13 mil ratchet spanner and that's for actually attaching the mill to the bar, which we'll have a look at in a sec. When you look at the height fittings on the Chinese mill, they're fairly lightly engraved into the upright post and only in inches. When you look at the height fittings on the Panther mill, we've got them in centimetres and we've got them in inches, but these, these are actually cut through the metal, as in they're not engraved in, they're actually all the way through the metal. And what that means is, is that they'll never wear out and it doesn't matter which way the light direction is in, you can always see what height you're at very quickly and easily. Looking at how the bar actually gets clamped in the mill, the Chinese version, you need to adjust four bolts, one, two, and then at the nose end, and you need to position the bar in the centre uh, to make sure the rails aren't pinched. So that's how it fits there. The positive about this is it's pretty universal. You can put any bar on onto the uh, this sort of fitting, and so it does make it a bit more of a universal type fitting. But it does mean going between four bolts is a little bit more awkward to put the bar actually into the mill. Uh, with the Panther mill, we've actually got magnets at the front and the back. 
And obviously you need a bar that is drilled, but we do do the GB bars and a couple of cannon bars. So you've got a slot here and then you've got a hole at this far end. And what that means is, once you've got the skid off and the other fitting, what it, what it means is, is that you can quickly attach the mill much faster and it always locks into the same place. So when this, when you offer the chainsaw up, that will snap onto the magnet. You then put your spacer washer, that, get, that nylock gets done up. And similarly for the nose end, and for the nose end, that goes on there. So it's a lot faster to fit it and the bar can't move. So it can't slip anywhere because you've got the bolt going through it. And same as the um, thrust end over here, the bar can't actually move anywhere because you've actually got a bolt through. Occasionally with this sort of, uh, set up that you've got on the Chinese mill, if you don't do it up very tightly in the right space, then this can move and obviously cause uh, problems. And also over time, it, by doing it up and undoing, it, these start to fatigue, so you might have to replace this. A further difference, you'll notice there's only one cross piece here, but on the Panther mill you have two cross pieces and that helps it keep it keep stable on the log. And probably the biggest difference is the fast height adjust. So undo the lever there, undo the lever there, rotate these uh, this round handle, and then you can adjust the height very quickly and easily tool the seat.